Hello, this is Matty from SCMC Gaming, and today I'm going to show you um, Battlecraft. Basically, Battlecraft is you uh, you get to uh, you do there is a voting system at the beginning if you saw, and you basically you have income at the top. You do you keep getting money every few seconds. There's all the names and the score, and you build units out of like, the barracks, the spawning pool. The, uh, Gateway, and then you got elite units that are really good, and then even you've got uh, heroic units and elite heroic units, which are just ridiculous. Basically, they are just absolutely insane. Like the Uberlisk is a giant ultralisk, and it's got spine crawlers on its back, which then attack as well. So anyway, the basic gist of this game is just a. Uh, Two of you on the team, me and Pat on the team in this case. Pat's troops go across there to attack um, Alicom. My troops go down to attack Atamis. But obviously they do sometimes meet in the middle of a fight. And um, so you're just basically trying to counter. So like he, he built some Z-Lots and then Pat built some Dark Templars to try uh, to counter. And then as you see you got score and as your score goes up and it fills, uh, you won't see this. No, you won't see this now. But you um once it fills, you get given a best bean and your income goes up. Um, so that's how you increase your income by just getting the most kills. So you, you, there also is a few features like you got defensive built structures like you saw in your there, like cannon, which does take uh, does take supply up, and you have to um, and then you uh, so you can build a lot of different defensive structures. But to get more supply, you have to buy it there with best bean. But obviously you can buy more income, you can buy more minerals, and you can upgrade your unit level. So all your units that attack increase damage and armor by 10%. Um, you also, there is Armageddon, which is a 10 minute cooldown, but it destroys all enemy attackers. So it won't destroy all your friends' units, just it will destroy the um, enemy's units. If it does have a 10 minute cooldown, it does scrap the cows and minerals, which quite a lot. You also do have suicide, which is cooling down in five minutes, which causes that kills all your own units. So say if I built a mass army of marines and I saw a mass army of banelings come in, I could just destroy my marines. You like you saw there? Suicide. Destroy these infestors to stop giving Pat kills. So then Pat doesn't get the extra kills and doesn't get the extra income. Uh sorry about the game lagging, there it was lagging in the game, which seems to be affecting the replay a little bit by stuttering. Um they, they did accidentally, uh, they, they did say they wanted uh, to go for two Uberlisks, but they never, they never did get there. So basically this is uh, what Battlecraft is, it's a good a good custom game. It's got them, they're real, really called giant Ultralisks held back, there's two of them. Um, and that's just some, uh, there's quite nice scenery on this as well, just with that income thing. All your buildings are kept there, on the top left, but it's already, already uh, Already, sorry, uh, hotkey, that's the word. Three different modes. For example, there's normal mode, which gets built. Extravagant mode, which allows the use of uh, heroes and elite heroes. And when you die, you become an SCV. And you can help your friend by building walls that take a bit of damage from the way from the pylon. Because you lose as soon as your pylon's down. Also, there's aggro mode, which uh, doesn't have the things of extravagant mode turned on. But it spawns units for free for you. So like these little black units appear. So there'll be like some black uh black like marines appear at their side and attack and you stop killing the exact same damage and everything which is free. It speeds the game up because it's harder. And obviously you've still got you've got all the units really on there, StarCraft 2, Marines and all that. And then you got all your Zerg units. You even some off on StarCraft 1 like Lurkers and Scourge. Scourge is quite weird on this because they don't instantly explode. Like on uh, say games like Income Wars, like they used to, uh, but they they actually attack and then die, which you might get to see. There's like scouts as well from uh, Stack Up. You've got all these units, and then you've got you've quite a few elite units, which are quite cool. I'll quickly go through them. You've got the Sadistic Assassins, which are basically really powerful ghosts, ridiculously long range. They're really good. Obviously, they're uh, five bats, Thor's, Bat Cruisers. They're really uh, high powered. Hydralisks, really high powered Ultralisks. First, the Terrans are strange because they run in at short range and when they die, they have an explosion of about six Banelings. There's no massive explosion. I do use them later in the game, I think. 
Then you obviously got Brood Lords, uh, really powerful Zealots, really powerful Mortals, really powerful Sentries, and the Disruptors uh, like, look like Sentries but the green. And when they die, there they are actually, not the Devils. When they die, they drop three Broodlings. So it's, they're quite, they're quite weird, but really quite good actually. If you hope, look, if you look when they uh, die, you can see the uh, Broodlings there. There, yeah, see the Broodlings. Also. Another unit is quite strange in this is the Protoss. They do have these indicators as well. And the scouts. They have a warp a whip field prisms, like off the campaign, but warp way warp um, prisms. Uh, and they go, they set up and then they do damage constantly to every unit on the map. And I don't think I use any no one uses any of these gates. Which is a shame because it would be good to see if they are. It is a really good unit. Vikings are also strange on this. They uh it's, it's, they fire like the Viking air missiles, but they're always on the ground. So it's a really good anti-air. So they got those. Of, they're, they're the infested Terrans. They're not very good against air, as you can tell. But um, oh yeah, Vikings. If they've got an army of say scouts, which is anti-air, you don't you don't want to go anti-air, anti-air, do you? So you go Vikings. The scouts aren't good against ground, but Vikings are racing against air. So you do high damage. Diamondbacks on this as well. Diamondbacks is kind of like, there's the Vikings actually, look. Uh, Vikings spawn here, just go down the side of the map, don't stop, go all the way down here. And, sorry about the lag, and stop here and then just shoot the pylon. So they, they are quite good in certain situations. That seems to be going, seems to have quite a few phoenixes. Uh, siege tanks also don't, um, they don't siege mode. They either I see we have my Vikings to stop and get free kills. And also mules. Uh, mules are really good. It's a really good melee unit that just rams everything back. So it, it is a good choice. Right, that's basically it for Battlecraft. So um, I'm just going to go with my camera view. There we go. And you can keep watching. Best is a quite strange unit. You see, you saw there the fire little ball egg that roll and then explode like a kind of like a baby. I don't think it does quite as much damage. And if you watch right now, I do use an Armageddon soon. Oh, also you can put defensive tanks in uh, inside each other. If you watch, uh, there's the Armageddon, which kills every friend on the map. But say my own friends, patch units just don't die. As you can see, look, the uh, green bars fill up. Show invest being and uh, your income goes up. So mana pass income is higher than both of theirs. Anyway, I'm just uh, go back to um, my camera view until something I need to tell you about happens. Here's the one problem about Battlecraft. For quite a while, there is standoffs. Because you don't want to spawn a unit that they just counter. So they say, like, now we spawn both and you don't have any anti air capabilities except Marines. So I think Pat goes there. So it, that's the one one annoying thing about Battlecraft, but there's, there's nothing that they can do with it. It is a good good, good custom game all around. All right, I will uh, speed it up to uh, four times for now while this game continues because it is, it is quite a long game. Sorry for likes a bit by any time. The fact that he's out there of uh, doing a uh, good unit composition. But, Yellow, I think that's faster, has spawned a hero. Sanguinous Predator. Sang I think that's how you say it. Then, yeah, Sanguinous Predator. Which is really good against a melee. And now you have a lot of hero units. You've got the Broodlords, the uh, Mystic Assassins, and then the Skyscraper Demons. Let's go Mass Reapers. Because they get there fast and do a lot of damage to buildings, so that's him dead. So that's how you do. That's how you do good on this game. You get big units, kill out all the units, and then just get reapers. This guy does have enough money 
to stop them repaying themselves. But I think this is uh, this is game now. He does, he does get a hero out. Oh no, yeah, sorry. He does get the hero out and stops us with Bainland, but then uh, Patrick also has a, a hero. He just, he just wipes out all them units. And also, sorry, Broodlords, Guardians, don't shoot Broodlings, they just shoot a thing. It's like the invested, the, um, like, the investors, the investors' uh, attack is, is a bit different. And basically, that's how I did a lot of damage there. And I, I just, uh, you can see I just build my money up. Because all these units still go left. But, so Pat, while Pat's defending himself with uh, whatever his unit is using, Dark Templars and uh, uh, Banshees, I just build up my two grand and build a massive amount of uh, mercenaries. That's nothing he can do. But Pat actually does manage to grind him down by himself using uh, a combination of uh, Speedlings, Lurkers, and Colossus. Most of his classes do die. Well, I think all of his classes die due to that. But then his, uh, his lurkers are sat there attacking. You see how he do have a lot of units on the way. But it's just... His lurkers do kill it just before my units get there. So he only had two lurkers left. And... Uh, that's GG. That's Battlecraft. So uh, this is Matty from SCMC Gaming. Rate, comment, subscribe.